Today on GoPro tips and tricks for making a Velcro hand slash wrist slash anything else you can wrap it around slash tree mount for your GoPro camera. You guys know that I love the front of the head strap mount as a very versatile DIY mount starter. So using this as a base starter for most of my DIY mounts and I love this thing. So when I found this stretchy Velcro strap, the hardware store for fairly cheap, I picked it up because I was thinking about using it as a hand mount or a wrist mount with the front plate of my head strap. Now, when I got this home, it was a fair bit longer than I was expecting, but that was okay because it has a couple of wraps around my, my wrist and it makes a great wrist mount. But it also turns out that because it's a bit bigger, it can be used in far, far more places. It just makes a very, very nice back of the hand mount and it can even be used for bigger objects such as trees or any kind of large round thing that you just wanna temporarily mount your camera on. It's not gonna be a very high impact area, but this thing has worked out absolutely awesome. So for the about, for the couple bucks these straps cost, check them out in the link down below, but I highly recommend you get something like this because it's super versatile and really quick to set up and down. You just take the front piece off of your head strap mount, slot this piece of Velcro through here, pull it down to that buckle right there, and then we'll just go through some of the different mounting setups we can use with this. So the first one is the wrist mount. We just take our mount, put it on the back of our arm, wrap the bungee around a couple times, and just like that, we have a nice secure wrist mount for our camera. We could then stick our camera on here. It could be used to get great self-portrait shots of us, or we could put it in an extender bar or mount it the other way, and we could use it to shoot sideways off of the rig. The next way I found, which is cool to use this, and actually I liked a lot better than just the wrist mount, was the back of the hand mount. The back of the hand mount had two advantages. One, it stopped the camera from moving by spreading the straps out on either side of my thumb, and it gave me a little bit more control over the camera, allowing me to um, better control where it was positioned. And because the back of my hand is a little bit flatter than my, my arm, I actually have a, a nicer, wider platform for the camera to sit on. It's not gonna spin around. We start off like this, went around, back of my arm, and then over the top. And then finally, just went through the strap and then crossed from there to there. And just like that, we've made a nice back of the hand mount for our camera. So you put your camera on like this, have it facing back to you, get awesome self-portrait shots using your hand as the pole or the tripod and then being able to continue to do whatever it is you're you're doing without um, really having to worry about your camera or point even pointing at you because as long as it's pointing back, you're going to be getting that great self-portrait shot. You also flip it around and leave it facing down. If you've got your hands facing forwards, this would allow you to get a kind of cool um, first person view looking forward. That was a very quick DIY GoPro tips and tricks video showing you how by combining a simple Velcro strap with the front plate of the head strap mount, you can create some very simple and very versatile mounts for your GoPro camera. Thank you guys for watching. This was another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you guys have enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe, check out my channel for lots more videos and like the video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I read all of them and respond to as many of them as I can. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.